Kowski, Josh, what can you tell us about the weather going on? I heard some wind. It's going to be pretty strong, right? You heard about the forecast or yeah. you heard the wind outside? I heard the wind. <laughs> I heard the wind and I heard about your forecast before, but I, I want you to take it away and let people know. <laughs> I think the wind, you know, affected everybody. We thought mm. it would, and the cold too, but the lake effect only affected parts of our area, which mm. is great. But some spots that had the wind with the snow, that wasn't fun with the reduced visibility. Check out some of these peak wind gusts from earlier today, 60 miles per hour at the Watertown Airport. That's some dangerous wind gusts. That's probably causing or caused some trees to be down, some power outages. That's kind of a, just outside of our main viewing area here in central New York. And in Syracuse area, we had a peak wind gust around 40 miles per hour. Penyan 39, Canandaigua 43 mile per hour gust. Fulton Airport at 41 mile per hour gust. Right now, the winds are still around. They're just not as intense as they were, say, earlier this morning and also from yesterday. 33 mile per hour gust at the moment in Watertown. 23 mile per hour gust here in Syracuse. Temperatures, if you're stepping outside for a brief period of time, they're in the low to mid 30s, except Ithaca is in 29. But with the wind still good in the area, we have wind chills in the low to mid 20s. Look at Skinny Atlas. It feels like 19. Ithaca, it feels like 18. So the wind chills, what you want to dress for in case you're going out any part of tonight. Live triple Doppler radar brought to you by false snow service experts. Here are the leftover lake effect snow showers and across Lewis County. They've shrunk up and diminished because we've had some drier air and slightly milder air loft kind of coming in this, this area of high pressure. On the western side of it, the winds come out of the south, and that's going to drive in somewhat milder air for our area tomorrow. Today was pretty cold, which we thought it would happen that way. Tomorrow, we're going to have not as much of a chill. The morning time will be cold, but the afternoon will not be as cold as today was. Future cast, hour by hour, there's the dying off lake effect snow showers to the north. Clearing skies, I think, overnight when many of us are going to be sleeping will drop down to low and mid-20s. A light south breeze that picks up more so tomorrow, and that acts as a pumping mechanism to get us up into the low and mid-40s, despite some extra clouds with dimmed sun in our area. All right, if you're a fan of rain in the month of December, sounds strange to say out loud, right? Well, some folks are going to be seeing rain with chilly conditions here. Many of us will be. And then Saturday morning, a couple waves of some steady or heavier doses of rain in the area and look at this this reminds me what came through our area yesterday we had a strong front some skinny narrow lines of convection highs in the 50s and could be some strong gusty winds there once again with that front passing through so your forecast for tonight in central new york syracuse area 27 it could be some colder spots down the south and east syracuse tomorrow 47 clouds some dimmed sun a south breeze picking up saturday winds get really gusty out of the south Drives up in the 50s with some rain, could be heavy at times, maybe a rumble of thunder. And then Sunday, colder 39, some flakes, some drops, not a lot though. Monday 44, same kind of weather. Tuesday, we get too warm for snow. It's all going to be rain again in the 50s. And Wednesday 45, colder weather next Thursday, sun and clouds in the 30s.